Hello, folks, and welcome to Cudlow. I'm Larry Cudlow. All right. If any of the Republican presidential candidates at tonight's Milwaukee debate are looking for message tips, I strongly recommend a careful read of today's Wall Street Journal op-ed piece by my pal Ken Kachigian, who was an ace Reagan speechwriter way back when. In his wonderful piece today, Ken argues he will shamelessly plagiarize Ronald Reagan, and I'm about to shamelessly plagiarize both Kachigian and the Gipper. Start with this. The 1984 Dallas Republican Convention on supply-side tax cuts from the Gipper. Take a listen. Our tax policies are and will remain pro-work, pro-growth, and pro-family. And most important, to bring the tax rates of every American further down, not up. Ah, it just doesn't get any better than that. You know what? Now, wait a second. That was good. Pretty good. But this next one is off the charts awesome. Take a listen. If we bring them down far enough, growth will continue strong. The underground economy will shrink. The world will beat a path to our door. And no one will be able to hold America back. And the future will be ours. There you go, folks. There you go, debaters. Prosperity, period. Positive, period. Growth, period. No one will be able to hold America back, period. The future will be ours, period. Can't beat that. And Ken Kachigian also quotes President Reagan at the August 1988 Republican convention when the Gipper says, and I'm going to quote, we left with a mutual pledge to conduct a national crusade to make America great again, period, end quote. Folks, ever heard that line before, make America great again? Well, it's Reagan vintage 1988. Think of it. Now, anybody looking for more debate tips? Okay. How about the failure of Bidenomics? High inflation, stagnant growth, zero affordability, central planning, big government spending. Want some more? How about drill, baby, drill, slash costs and promote growth? Return to an all-the-above energy policy. How about make the Trump tax cuts permanent? How about zero out Biden's zillion new regulations? How about ending Bidenomics means burying obsessive left-wing climate change, which is driving Americans crazy by taking away their appliances, their cars, and their freedom of choice. In other words, how about attack Biden tonight, not Trump? Go after the Biden scandals, defend freedom of speech, argue against a two-tier justice system, which is now aimed at Trump and Republicans, but I'll tell you, it's coming to a theater near you for ordinary American folks. How about close the border? How about using the military to stop the cartels? How about pro-parent and pro-school choice? Wait a minute. Once more, with feeling, I have to do this, very important, quote, the world will be the path to our door and no one will be able to hold America back and the future will be ours and make America great again. How about all of that?